Okay, let's look at another example. And this is again a concluding sentence. Oh, sorry, then conclusion, <coughs> a concluding paragraph. And this is from an essay entitled Decipher the Codes Hidden in the Architectures of the Da Vinci Code. Let's have a look at the original. <coughs> The first sentence, now that we have deciphered the codes hidden in music, Duluth, etc. Uh, if you take a closer look at this sentence, you can find that it's not a complete sentence, it's just a subordinate clause. And the second problem with this sentence is decipher. You say, you argue that you have deciphered the codes, but I believe that it's not you who decipher the codes. It's the... It's is is rather than than or even go that even Dan Brown who decipher the code, <coughs> so that the person the contribution should be on them instead of you. Then you say for these architectures, architecture basically is a mass norm. It's not countable. So if you really want to count architecture, then you probably have to say pieces of architecture. We comprehend their con connections with rows now, analyzing the feature and figure out the symbols projected on them. That's absolutely fine. And then you say to conclude the codes we decipher, the secret of the Holy Grail and its representation, rows. Explain why these architectures were chosen by the Priory of Seer. To me, this sentence is kind of odd. First of all, we have to establish where the main verb is. So I assume that explain is the main verb of this sentence. If this is the case, let's have a look at the subject part. The subject, if then the part before that is a subject. Then let's have a look at the subject part. We know that the subject has to be a noun or noun phrase. And then, or non close. And then you say to conclude the codes with cipher, the secret of the Holy Grail and its representation rose. So, do you mean that you, you, you want to say to conclude the codes with cipher, to conclude the secret of the Holy Grail and to conclude its representation rose? To be honest, I don't quite get what you mean here. I think the main problem lies on this verb to conclude here and then if we move on to the next sentence you say the symbol rose in the da vinci code is a holy sign of light ranger and guidance the feminine char charles and guiding star that led to the secret truth uh for some reasons i feel that you are introducing new information, new arguments here. And generally speaking, we would like to reserve the so-called conclusion part to wrap up what you have been talking about. So this sentence seems to be a bit awkward in this place. You might like to think about whether you might be able to integrate this sentence or the idea in this sentence into the early part of your writing. And then you say, through the project, the deciphering of the architecture in the novel guides us to look into the historical background of the, of the architecture. That's fine. Then you say, additionally, then he comes to one issue that I talked about early on in my presentation about the, the usage or, or maybe excessive use of the so-called the sentence connector like this one additionally or besides etc so why do you have additionally here I, I don't quite get it and you say it's also a reminder that not just browse the interior the interior of the historical site but take more time to explore and decipher every detail of the architecture have a look at this sentence here. Uh, let's start with this it's. Uh, it's also a reminder. So first of all, what does it what does this it refer to? That's the first question. My second concern is it's. This is a contractive form. If you are doing academic writing, the contractive form is often regarded as a, an instance of informality and should be avoided. So something is also a reminder. 
a lot. Not just browse the interior, blah, blah, blah. This not just browse the interior to the end is actually not a sentence. And a sentence, or maybe I should say a close. Okay, but you, you know, because you start this close with last, so this is that last close, but there's no subject in this close. So, which also suggests that this close might be grammatically incorrect. Let's have a look of my revised version. Again, I would say that this is not perfect, but anyway, just give you a flavor of what I did. I say based on, oh no, yes, I spelled a mistake. It's based on Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code. Again, I refresh the we refresh the, the the reader's memory. Okay, what I, about what I did? So I say based on Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code that we have discussed the codes hidden in these four landmarks. Earlier, I just mentioned that you know who actually who did this job of deciphering the job and the codes. Actually, as as far as I know, is is a Robert Landon. It's not. You as the author who come up with all the, the answers to these codes, the secrets. So that's why I revise or modify your sentence to become like a base on Dan Brown. So I attribute, okay, this, this says, I attribute this effort of decoding thing by Dan Brown, by the story itself, you know, to the story itself. We have discussed the codes hidden in these places. So I, I change. Uh, we have deciphered the code too. We have discussed the codes hidden in these places. And then I say, we have described the architecture features of these landmarks. They considered some symbols projected on them and unpacked their connection with the rose line. All these are pretty similar to what you wrote. So, but there's one difference is that I use uh, present participle. It's also possible I can use past tense because I don't know why you use present tense in your scenario in your writing. You can see that in the in the original you use comprehend. This that's the present tense, but I assume that this, you got the uncomprehension in the past. You analyzed the features in the past. That's why I changed that structure that the, the tense into present continuous. Or maybe I can, I can also use past tense, which is also fine. And then I say, we have thus gained a deeper understanding of the Holy Grail secret and the prior of science reason of hiding these codes in these sites. I didn't include uh, this sentence in my revision because I don't feel it's relevant. And then I say, by following the lender decipher the codes, we have also delved into the historical background of these pieces of architecture. Okay, so this link to this very key important learning from doing the, from, uh, that you had by doing this project. This learning is that you came to realize the value and beauty of approaching architecture through not only paying attention to its look, but also exploring its history and also context surrounding it okay so and that is a learning i that you probably or maybe i should say the takeaways you had from doing this particular project